Hey, hello and welcome back to Survi um, Surviving Mars, and I almost said Astroneers, that's not the right game. Anyways, we're back, and I need to keep an eye on this medic, because I need to see... Okay, so it might be worthwhile, because he's taking sanity damage. It's probably actually worthwhile to get the infirm uh, Infirmary Medical Post update for the sanity recovery. So, let's do that. How much is that going to cost? Three, uh... Six nine zero, so we'll swap it out for um, mineral applications, so we can upgrade our infirmaries. Oh, we've almost done the cancer research. Research complete. Oh, I haven't assigned a train yet, have I? Um. How do I do that again? Oh, there we go. Sent, click that and assigned. Now people can start working at the um, rare metal extractor. Especially if I do that. There we go. Where are they? Oh, are they going to go to work today? Oh, they're a guru of fit. Ah. They're fit, but they're melancholic. Uh, increased performance at low morale can be caused by sending. Eh, that's not a bad one, so. And there we go. We have our rare metal income. Oh. Available breakthroughs. Ah! Oh, that's hand down, I think, the best Martian diet. Less food. Dead body converted to food. Newly grown forest. Yeah! Eternal fusion is the best one. Fusion reactors no longer require workforce and operate at 150 uh, performance. Yeah, we're doing that. Oh, Eternal fusion, God. yes. All right, we're almost done deep scanning. All right, cure for cancer. Everyone on Mars is standing tall today, filled with pride. The ba a battle in the war against cancer has been won. Humanity hasn't discovered the cure for the horrific disease yet, but we managed to make progress. Our colonists are proud of that we were a p part of this initiative. Ten more. That's a really shady bonus for uh, all that. And right, finally, we're, and then yeah, after we're finally going to get emergency training done. Oh, they're taking all those rare metals away. Where are they taking them? Hmm, no idea. Now oh, we got six drones ready to land with 23 uh, rare metals. Why did my thing just shoot over here? Oh, probably because of another fracture. Okay, that would do it. So hopefully this episode we're going to break the 23 colonists mark and get up to 24. Eight males want children and 13 females want children. All those guys have their pick of the women. Sector scanned. Resources are low. Low storage. We're running low on water? Oh. That's why. <laughs> Building the drone hub was disabled by a lightning strike. Of course it was. <laughs> of course. Uh, we have the tech to. Uh, yeah, we have autonomous subs, so we might. That we want to research fairly soon, I think. Ooh, that's gonna be a handy one. Especially now that we have outdoor buildings. Right, I also want that tech. Oh, we broke, we're at 24 colonists. We're at 24 colonists. Can we break 25 this episode? I hope we can break 5 this episode. Come on, I want to break 25 colonists this episode. If we can break, if we can break 25, I think that there's another uh, leak. 
If we can break 25 Kalanas, I'm pretty sure that would be the end of our population issues. But yeah, let's wait and see though. What is their drinking requirements? It might be time to build a bar, actually, because I think Geologist is like, uh, uh, where is their, um, where can we find their requirements again? Meteor shower incoming. Oh boy, Meteor Shower. Those are never good for us. Uh, is it by us over here? Mm, can't tell. Well, we're a day away from the dust storm being over. Okay, the drone hub is back online. Another fracture. Definitely eating through our polymers this ep this episode. Uh, the plus side, I did build up quite the surplus, so... Did I... Do I have... That's not helping my water consumption. The subsurface heater's being on. Uh, oh, we have the ability to build... Research, we can research mega domes now. Which I think is the last of our... Okay, we have two sponsor goals left. Nine breakthroughs in the Mega Dome. We have one breakthrough queued up. Oh, two breakthroughs queued up. You know what? Don't need global support yet. Ugh. I kind of want... Right, I was reaching global support entirely for the um, breakthrough. Uh, sponsor goal. And we might get really lucky with what our loot is. Sector scan. Well, that's it for surface based anomalies. We're just researching the, uh, scanning the last of the, <laughs> the last of the sectors. Nineteen hours till the dust storm. We're still at twenty-four colonists. How's the comfort? Service buildings are not resource requirement for that. That's weird. We should though. An open air gym would take care of those problems, I think. Oh, another fracture. Yeah. Nice thing about open air gyms is they can provide colonists with fit. I was like, I was tempted to build just another park, but open air gyms is better long term. Sector scanned. Sector C7 scanned. Well, of course, we're not going to get anything from discovering anything from those scans because there's nothing to discover. <laughs> Another. Okay, that's going to get irritating until this dust storm is over. That we keep snapping back to the dust storm. There we go. And watch. Next, next, fra next fracture. Don't fracture. It's going to shoot me right back. Unless the dust storm ends. Need to start deciding uh, where I want to expand to. I definitely want to research dome, so I'm tempted to go over there first and just deal with the uh, subsurface temperature th issues. Now oh, there we go, snapped right back. Not Not a drastic snap, but I definitely saw that snap. Two hours, one hour till the dust storm ends. Come on, dust storm, end. Oh, that? 
Actually, we can keep that open. We have the polymer to uh, fix them. Broken Darm. The dust storm has settled, but the damage to the dome remains a constant threat to the colonists. It is now safe to send a repair team to seal the crack in the dome and stop any further leaks. Do you have any special instructions? Um, double check everything and make sure all safety protocols are followed. Yeah, take your time, make sure everything's good. It's Sector not like we're short on polymers. Especially since some polymers just arrived. Right there. Oh, and you can land too. Yeah, I want to build a science dome up here. You know, instead of mega domes, though, I think I want it to be multi spiral architecture. So I can get to it, so we can get two of them. We'll, we'll, we'll queue that up next. Oh, and I, we're still getting fractures because of the uh, event hasn't ended yet, so good thing we have uh, this. This uh, international Mars mission just landed. Yeah, actually, we can close this dude now. Anomaly analyzed. Ooh, Hunter. Ooh, that's a whole bunch of things. Let's see. Uh, enhanced gravity. We open farms are handy, but we're not doing anything with that. Private surface company allows gain comfort. That's a nice one. Construction of rockets on Mars. That research in that would mean we don't have to buy anything from Earth. Produces concrete directly. That's a wonder. We don't need that. Oh, mohole too. Did not notice that getting unlocked. Deep water, sure. Oh, that's a good one. But that's late game tech. And our research income is abysmal, to say the least. So yeah, I don't know what to research next, actually. Um, hmm. Do we have the tech that lets Martian borns gather faster? I don't think so. Uh, what to research? Uh, utility crops. Mm, nah. What? I don't know what to do next. Faster trains. Just, just do faster trains. Because right now these guys' shifts, are, these poor colonists are being having their shifts shortened. Shortened, sorry, English. Have they cleaned the map? They've Research cleaned the map. Complete. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know what to research next. Ooh, behavioral melding replaces flaws with random perks. Home collective increases the surface comfort of buildings. I really don't know what to research next. So I'll just keep going with what we've got. Sector scanned. Sector C4. Okay, let's queue up another one of these projects. We don't have any scientists, so Project Pharaoh takes some of our medics and go. Oh, we don't have any water. Uh, not water, fuel. Okay, we have to be careful with our... Um, Stuff now because if we've extracted all the metal from the map all the surface metal we're going to be a little hooped until we can start extracting deep metal deposits unless we get really lucky with global support oh we broke 25 we got 25 colonists I think that's it for our population. We're finally gonna have a, we're about to enter a population boom. Finally. There. Oh, 
Finally, the dome has been repaired. No more polymer losses. Building's not working. Concrete structure because you're full, aren't you? Yeah. Scanned. It's at one more. Yeah, we're down to the last sector, and it's gonna be another zero one. You know what? I think. Hmm. Well, at least the university is going. I want, oh, that's actually not going to be good in a minute because our medic account. Once that goes, our medic account is going to shoot way up. You know, I think it's time to actually start terraforming. Meteor incoming. Oh, okay, way over there. Why? Oh, because of the underground entrance right there. Well, that's a nice safe meter shower a long ways away. Meteor incoming. Where are they going? Oh, a single meteor landed down there. It's another gathering up all those scrap metals. You know what I should research actually? Now that we have electronic income. Might be worthwhile to get that. On the other hand, we haven't fully exploited the underground and that will give us some more breakthroughs to research. Thank you. It's time to research that actually once faster trains are done. We'll, re we'll start cl load G excavation permits and start fully utilizing Meteor taking advantage of the resources from underground. Those natural meteor showers don't drop nearly enough resources. I wonder what we're going to get for the um, global support, because there's several possibilities. Sector I think you can research scan. it like six times. Still no resources over there? Nope. Our transports aren't moving. Research complete. Hive mind. Resident Zero College, you get a bonus to work performance based on the number of unique perks and specializations of colonists living in the Arcology. Well, there's a whole bunch of different specializations and stuff like that. Just no scientists. I think there's one of everything except scientists. Oh, and we don't have any officers yet. Do we have any, need, need any officers yet? Later we'll need some. Actually, there's a small security post. Three officers. Hmm. Now, oh. Ah, the sensor tower is gone. Where are your drones? Um. Oh no, don't tell me they're all the way over here. Sometimes I've noticed dr drones can get stuck in the architecture of the world. We'll know when that uh, guy launches, we'll get uh, orphan drones probably. Okay, your five drones are there, but where are yours? Now 
That's concerning. Well, it's about to launch. It's a day away from launch. Oh, well, about half a day. 161. Oh, they'll... they'll let's do that one. Oh, there, wait, no, cancel that. Cancel Expedition. I thought it was the other way around. I thought they were going to give us those polymers for those concretes. They're, it's always 50 for something. Never mind. So, actually, you guys are working now? Yeah, you are. Once they get back and the meteor shower is over, I will send some a ship to repair that. Actually, I don't need the sensor tower anymore, so I could just assemble it. But the extra warning for disasters is nice. That's one thing I'm not producing myself. Polymers. And I, I was saying we were independent, but we technically aren't because we're not producing our own polymers. Although, we could, we're just trading the other colonists for them. And it'd be super easy for me to set up a polymer factory. Which I should probably do now that I think about it. Uh, look at all those nice factory workers producing me electronics. Well, I think we're good on colonists, finally. Let's see if we can get to 26 before the end of the episode. That wouldn't be a bad one to research. But, like I said, I was going to... What did I say I was going to research after faster trains? Right, we're going to clear out... Nope. We're going to go back underground, load the excavation permits, and start doing that. Oh, is there anything else up here? Probably not. Well, we're researching global support now. Let's see what we get. That's always an exciting one. Because the sponsored buildings tend to be really nice. Now, thematically, I, it, it's supposed to be, oh, we're sharing resources. We're trading information back and forth. I like to imagine it's me hacking their databases and stealing their technology. Oh, broken dome. You smile as you read the latest report about the dome damaged by the dust storm. Finally, something positive from this whole, whole ordeal. The fault for the crack was in the design of our airlocks, but the issue has been dealt with and repair teams are Im implementing the solution to all other domes. One of our crafty colonists has found out how to significantly improve the way we repair dome leaks. Repair cost of dome leaks leaked reduced by 50% permanently. That's a good one. So in the future, when, when we're getting meteor strikes or any of that stuff, our domes are protected. Well, not protected, but they're easier. If we truly want to protect them, we need to invest in... Um, we need to start terraforming. Let's start terraforming. We have the electronic income. We can start doing it. Slap down a forestation plant. Next, we need to start. If we're going to start terraforming, we should start thinking about the other things. We're going to need water. We're going to need so that like that. We're going to need that or just straight up lakes. Mm. Well, we're also going to need to reduce, increase the temperature. So, oh, of course. Oh, we only have five medics. Okay. Um, I was wondering why this thing hadn't launched yet, despite the fact that it was full on fuel.
Eventually, we're going to need to build a farming dome. Actually, no, open farms tend to blow those out of the water, so what we need to do is definitely invest in terraforming. Come on. Oh, we're, yeah, we're waiting on that. This poor, um, that's Prefecta doing, actually. She's still hypochondriac. She's middle-aged now. No, she hasn't had any breakthroughs. How's she doing on comfort? No comfort penalties. No sanity penalties for a while. Beautiful. Oh, for a second, I thought these were waste rocks, but no, they're just terrain rocks. You know, it might be time to send one of these guys down to the underground to start gathering up the resources. You uh, go pick up some electronics. You're probably gonna grab too many, but that's fine. You head up here and start repairing that tower. Building not working. Oh, the elevator's not working. Why isn't the elevator working? Sh oh, shrouded and rebel. That's uh, not good. Do we have working drones down here? Okay. Oh, apparently maintenance from the surface fixed that. Okay. That's handy. Yeah, I should send a guy to the underground, some guys to the underground to start cleaning this up. Actually, what I should do is make it automated. Research Dozer Rover, build one, and send it down after I've manually ex explored it with Logi Excavation Permits. So, modifying the tree so it gets, so things get researched quicker because we don't have a lot of, we still don't have a lot of sponsored research, let's be honest. Yeah, just go use the elevator. Start ga uh, gathering up the resources underground. Especially if you're not busy above ground. Where are you? Okay, they're coming up from the tunnel. Actually... Does anyone offer concrete in exchange for polymers? As well, we're out of surface metals. We're not out of concrete. Actually, I don't want to do that either. You know what? I'll take that one, though. Oh, we're gonna have that this rocket soon going to launch. It looks like. I'm, we're not gonna have to be worried about um, getting too many extra medics though, because we still have an engineer to train before we start having medics, and the medics will be back before another colonist graduates. Belka Oxygen will be the. Um, one of the first medics off-world. Uh, well, not off-world, but in the shuttle.
Okay, where are these drones? Oh, yeah, they're all the way. Okay, let's just... Because there's nothing we can do about them. Well, actually, we could have waited to see the shuttle. Oh, I know how I could have retrieved them. I could have sent all our drones underground. Oh, well, I'll just delete that last one. Do the metals pile up in a place we can access? No, metals pile up way over there. Oh, well, hindsight is twenty twenty. We're now short six drones, which we can always order from Earth next time we send a shuttle back to Earth, actually. Oh, no longer train just medics, auto train. So that guy, if he graduates, will be an engineer, and by then the medics will be re all overturned. But that'll have to wait. That and global support will have to wait for next episode. I will see you guys then. Bye.